Hi, and thanks for tuning in to watch the Bad Back Gardener again. Uh, we're going to do a short video here, and we're going to give you a July flower tour. We'll uh, tour some of the flowers I got growing around the property here. Um, just got a little, a, a few showers today of real hard downpours, so they're kind of, they're kind of looking a little bit weathered a little bit today because of the showers are beating down on them. But we're going to go ahead and do this anyways. It's uh, pretty hot and muggy out today. Uh, it's very humid, and actually I'm having a little problem with the camera keeps fogging up a little bit. So if it fogs up, I'll try and catch it and uh, clean it off and keep going here. But uh, we'll start by getting ready and taking a short flower tour. All right, we'll start here. And I had some sunflowers come up. I think I may have showed you this before. They come up in a pot here. I got some other flowers that I planted in them, some uh, marigolds and some zinnias growing. Some of the little dainty, dainty zinnias are in red. They're spider zinnias. And then some uh, red and yellow marigolds. And then we got some of the sunflowers have already went to seed. Some of them are going to seed. And then we got one up here that's still just come out. This one's starting to go to seed here. So the birds kind of planted those ones. I did not, uh, but I left them go since they grew in the back of the container. That's my spike plants that you may have seen me, seen my video on those. And then we have zebra mallows growing in the bottom of those. And over here, the same deal. And then we have the petunias that they're growing. A couple of big pots, they're really spreading out. The rain's kind of beat them down a little bit here. But. Here's one of my baskets here. Again, I try and deadhead these pretty much every day. But they I don't always get to them every day, but and it's got some uh, some of the darker sweet potato vine in with it. And there's the lighter sweet potato vine in this basket with some red petunias. Again, they haven't deadheaded them yet today, so. Some, some of these came up on their own from last year too. I didn't plant all these. There's porticaya. It's kind of needs deadhead a little bit too. I'm look up along the edge here. I got a row of rows of Sharon's all planted up. All different colors here, white and purples and pinks. And then over here, this is my butterfly bush. It has not started blooming yet. It's got some tops to it, but they haven't come out yet. My yuccas have all done blooming and went to seed pod. And the cone flowers are doing real good. They're out. And then this is one of the baskets that actually don't look as good as it did yesterday because it got beat up with rain today. So it's kind of falling down here because it's all weighted down with water. 
but that one's doing pretty good and then we got some profusion zinnias coming up here and them that I planted with them with the spikes and with the the other flowers there the pink ones so we got some yellow zinnias they'll probably be all different colors in there so they'll kind of take over as the other flowers start to slow down and and uh, die as the year goes as it gets later in the summer they won't be as colorful but uh, the zinnias will take over and here's one of the baskets here hopefully we can see this with the sun right in our eyes here looking pretty good another one these purple flowers kind of took over and choked out some of the other flowers that I had in with it and they actually did the same thing down in this basket here they went wild and kind of pushed away all the other flowers as you can see I had some other some silver flowers and the purple flowers there are coming out and there's some profusion zinnias in the back there and these are bachelor buttons here that they'll come up they're starting going to flower here in this basket here again it got beat up by the rain a little bit and here it's actually these flowers have really boomed and now they're starting to slow down here a little bit and some of the lower branches are turning brown but I think some of the rain had something to do with this a little bit too that they're not all out flowers have kind of went in for the night here's another one it's got some of that multicolor with purple wedged vine there with it again they're really it's deadheaded these ones aren't too bad they usually deadhead themselves pretty good but I usually try and help them out a little bit and deadhead some of it. More petunias there. Some of my cilantros went to flower there and went to go to seed so I'll let it just go to seed and maybe reseed itself in that same basket here's some more of the, the purple flowers they're doing real good they're taking over again and here's some profusion zinnias in there that'll start blooming when those ones are finishing up some of the day lilies we have growing And my cone flowers have all been brought down by the rain as well. The hard rain kind of is hurting them. And then we have my zebra mallows have exploded out front again. They come in different colors. You can see got some of my palms that I brought out for the summer that I brought back from Florida and grew from seed. They're doing pretty good. They've picked back up for the summer again. There's more zebra mallows there. You can see the zebra grass here has filled in pretty nicely and gotten big again this year. 
if you caught my video on taking care of ornamental grass I dug out the middle of those and and put some soil into them so they'd grow back in the middle and it looks like they'd done pretty good and over here over here we have some some lilies coming up and they're not out yet but they're getting ready to bloom not, not a whole lot of color over here but those should be blooming shortly to give it a little bit of color and then over here we got some more marigolds a couple of marigolds planted okay that's gonna do it for this video of of what the flowers are looking at this time of year here they're kind of and some of them are in a uh, finishing up stage they're not looking as good as what they did they kind of burst out at the beginning of summer and then kind of fade off as we go and then we got some of the ones that are just now getting their foothold in and, and coming on like the profusion zinnias that I grew uh, they'll be kind of taking over the pots I'll probably go get some uh, mums and uh, and put those in at some point here later as the summer goes on to last through the fall too uh, some of these petunias they may come back they may get another burst of energy again but these hot and hot days and stuff is kind of taking its toll I, they're not flowering near as much as they were and uh, I know I'm deadheading a lot more and I'm just not seeing the flower production coming back with them but uh, I maybe should give them a shot of fertilizer that might help them a little bit but uh, that's kind of what the garden looks or the flower gardens look like now um, but uh, some are looking pretty good some aren't thanks for watching catch up with me on Facebook and if your back ain't hurting you ain't working